Hello there everyone, Ash and Flash here, and welcome on into a LEGO Animal Crossing 2024 set review. Today we're looking at set number 77050. This is Nook's Cranny and Rosie's House. This is retailing for $74.99 USD or $99.99 Canadian. I'm very excited to look at this set. It's got such an iconic location and character in this set. And I just, I really love play sets. So what isn't there to love about, I guess, the whole theme? But here you can see we've got the names... And uh, it's so Ro Rosie there is in that's a different language. Either that's the name in Spanish or French. Tom Nook is he's Tom Nook, I guess, <laughs> in every language. But uh, looking at it here on the back, you could see some uh, inspirations on how to display and decorate the sets, which we're going to touch on here in the build. Let's go ahead. Let's take a closer look. All right, so here's the two buildings all built up. If you want to hop around to the different chapters to look at each of the different sections or the figures, you can find them linked down below. All right, so here is Nook's Cranny, and this is definitely, like, just such an iconic location. I'm so excited to just point out some of the little details and things referenced here. It's, it's quite a fun build. Like, I love some of the detail here. Like, for instance, this out here, like, this canopy build, that looks amazing. Like, phenomenal. I love this little decorations hanging there too like that's awesome my least favorite part is the way that this looks from the side this roof design it just it ain't it i get why they chose to use some of these parts in terms of like you know having all of these plates to create this angle but just how this looks and the shaping of it it, it just that it does not look good that gap there it just it, it ain't it and I think that that's some of my problems with a lot of the roofs, which we'll talk about in a bit. On the outside, I love the little attention to detail. Like, the windows look great. You've got this flower over here on this side. But over here, you've got this watering can. And it's got a little flower sitting inside there. So that's pretty cute. But this is probably some of my favorite bits here. You've got the drop-off box, which you just have this really cool print there, which you are able to actually remove. And on the inside, you can see you've dropped off a carrot. Obviously, you can drop off a bunch of different items there to sell. And then over here on this side, you've got this bulletin board, which is such a cool build. I love that, which, by the way, just like Super Mario, this Nintendo theme also has only printed pieces. Now, the doors here, they are actually able to be opened up. You just push them on out or grab onto the door handles and step inside. This is what the interior looks like. Uh, again, just tiny little details like that. Like, if this had been tan, you know, that would look nicer. You can't see the color from this side. So I think that that would have helped look better, I think, for the inside. But you've got a couple of different things over here. You've got a guitar. You've got this bucket. Uh, this radio which is a really cool build for the radio i like the tiles there on the floor and then you've also got this plant growing in this pot over here you've got a cash register which isn't it, like specifically to animal crossing you've also got this bell there sitting on the counter and then inside the drawer there's nothing inside no spare bell but you could put that because you do get two in the set over here in the refrigerator this is really cool inside this piece i think this was introduced in friends this one by two tile is a DIY recipe. And then on the inside there, you've got some seeds and some fish food being sold, which are these cool one by one bricks that are printed. And then in the corner, you've got a broom and a shovel being sold. Here is Rosie's house. And this is the exact same design house that we sort of got in another set. I suspect we're gonna be getting more houses like this in the future, just decorated differently, because that's the difference here. And there's obviously other details here, like the exterior with uh, a couple of the colors for the doors and the windows. And speaking of those windows, so you might've seen before, but there's two extra windows included. And you can see here that you're able to actually remove the windows and you can just easily attach these new designs. And whether you wanna to choose to use uh, the round ones or the rectangular ones, they cover up the window hole very well. You could also see here that when you open the door, it opens very nicely. But what's very important for me is the fact that even Rosie, even though she's quite tall, she is actually able to fit inside there. It, it, barely, but she is able to, which is pretty neat. You can see on the outside here, you've got a couple of things like this lantern there, which is a little different than the other one. You've got this cool street light there included as well. And then this, you've got this mailbox, 
which on the inside had this letter, which isn't anything new. You could pretend that that is an invitation uh, to smash there. And then you've got uh, over here on this side, this little flower. But I do need to talk about one more thing, and that is the roof. I, I like the design of it using these tiles to create this. I think it looks really great. However, it's a little too short. I think it needed to be one higher up there, and that would have been nice. Now, it is actually able to be removed, and you can detach it very easily and reattach it. The idea being that more houses you get, the more different roof colors you can swap in and out. I do like the chimney design here too, and you've got one of the cloud pieces that you can sort of angle uh, back and forth there, depending on which way you want the wind blowing. And here's the interior. Uh, I'll talk about the customization that you've got in a second, but this is really cute. I like the design of this layout with the living room over here in this section. And then you've got this little table here with a mug. And then you've also got this lamp. You've got this bed with a cool bedspread and design. Over here in the corner, you do have this stove with a frying pan there. And you've also got on the inside this little uh, pastry that they're making. So that's cool. And you've got this vase with a flower in it in the corner. And you've also got this two by two tile print of one of the covers from KK Slider, which is very fun that they are referencing that here. So you can see here that this set is designed for you to actually customize and decorate it however you really want. So, you know, if you don't want to put uh, the stove here in the corner, you can remove it or different things like that. That has to stay there. That's the only stud that can attach to a wall. But yeah, I really like the idea of this. The only thing I'll say, it's very open on the inside. I just don't like how you could see a little bit of green sticking out there in the front. And that actually carries over here onto this side. You could see there's a little bit of purple sticking out on the outside. So I kind of wish they covered that up a bit better. But there is also a third section included, and this is how I would recommend displaying it. I think this looks the best, just the whole color scheme and everything that you've got going on. It makes the front lawn look a little bigger too. Um, yeah, I think this looks great. You've got obviously all of these Mario plates being used throughout this thing. So the idea is that you can combine and connect it to create this large island here. But it's obviously very easy to detach and separate them into these different sections. And you do have this other 2x4 plate included as well. And that's just so that you can connect it and combine it to other existing sets. But it's a pretty cute little section here. And similar to the other set, you've got this little sort of tea party happening underneath this umbrella. You've got there this uh, teacup, uh, two of them. You've got a teapot and then a waffle and a sugar cookie. And then over here, this is one of my favorite things across these sets. You've got a tree, uh, and this is such a cool design. This is an orange tree here. And what's great about it is the fruits, you shake the tree, and they're very easy to detach these little orange orbs, which is awesome. You've also got some a mushroom there and a flower to collect. And then here, you could see, of course, when you're shaking the tree, sometimes, of course, you will get this the sticks so included on the inside there is a stick which is just so awesome and then of course as well down below when you chop down the tree you've got this new animal crossing stump piece which looks really cool also included is this bike which you're actually able to take one of the figures here and have them ride the bike too which uh, this is a cool color you know it matches the rosy so well there just the color scheme Tom Nook here looks awesome. I just this figure is incredible. I love the headpiece they've created here. Just the nose looks amazing. The ear printing, the face, the expression is just so well captured. The dual molded arms is awesome too. And the torso, like that's just so detailed. I love the little symbol there, the badge that he's got. Also, the bag in yellow is incredible to get, but it's got the printing there, so it's a bag full of bells. You've got this tailpiece, which you, of course, can remove. And uh, you've also got just a, such a detailed back torso there as well. And uh, I love the use of the mid legs here. What's really cool is all the Animal Crossing characters and figures all have holes in the head so that you can take little accessories and give them uh, like a little party hat or something to wear. And here is Rosie and just adorable. Like, look at the expression there on the face. Really love that the ears and everything, it just looks great. I love the torso, like the sweater. That's so awesome, that printing and that uh, texture and detail. I've got a tail piece here in the back, and then you can see the back torso printing there. And if you didn't see where the hole is, like Tom, take one of the ribbons and attach it there to party. All right, so I do need to show you the instructions because there's some really cool stuff on the inside, like for instance, really big images of the characters. But as you go through here, like specifically at the end, I just want to show you this. 
here's just some of the suggestions on how you can decorate the house. So showing you, okay, all of those pieces, they can be decorated and you could pick between these three designs that they're suggesting. And then here you've got this really cool spread of like all of the sets all together and how you can connect them all and interchange the roofs like we talked about. And then here uh, it's repeated because it did show it in the last instructions. I just figured why show you it twice. You've got this here and it's showing you that you can combine and separate and build them and display all three sections different ways. Well, there you have it, everyone. That is my review of Nook's Cranny and Rosie's house. I love this set a lot. I think, again, it's an iconic location. I think the roof could have been done better and differently. And just some of, you know, some little things here and there, like the shop, I think could have had some more variations of like, maybe it gives you extra items to swap the stuff out daily. Sort of like, you know, you had with her house where you could swap around all the objects. I think that would have been cool to have for uh, Nook's Cranny. But the figures in here are great. I think, obviously, the price of this, it could have used and should have probably had a third figure. I mean, there's hundreds of characters to pick from, so why not include someone else in here? I think that's a real shame that there isn't someone else here when you compare some of the other sets that are much cheaper, and they also have two characters. So hopefully they learn from that going forward with Animal Crossing, but we'll have to wait and see. I'm excited for this, be sure to subscribe, turn on the bell notification so you don't miss out on future LEGO Animal Crossing set news and reviews. If you want to check out my reviews that we've done so far, I'll link them at the end here. But I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Hope you all have a great day. We'll see you all in the next one.